Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video following on from the last video I did about these Maleficent 7 Labour MPs who've left to create their own centrist neoliberal Blair Rich project. Um, quick video, something really quite funny and then something really sad and pathetic. Um, the first thing, the thing obviously, <laughs> you've probably heard this if you've been on Twitter, but this is Chuka Amuna um, talking at this launch and you can hear uh, somebody in the studio somebody in the bbc whether it's in the studio or sort of behind the scenes you can hear them saying he's mad asking you to help us shape what the next step should be asking you to help us shape what the next step should be asking you to help <laughs> he's mad uh yeah he is um and then luciana Berger stood up <laughs> And she did her. I'm just going to play this, see if you can make out what has been said here. Um, this is really quite funny. <laughs> it is. Family and friends of Paul Flynn MP, who we learned passed away fucked. yesterday. It's going to be so divided. I'm not going to no, it's open it up to questions. The Conservatives going to win. But... Just in case you couldn't hear that, the guy said, it, I'm not going to lie, between this and Brexit, we're effed. It's going to be so divided, the Conservatives are going to win. That was on the BBC Live earlier today. Um, I said something funny and then something sad, something sad and pathetic. This is the thing that's sad and pathetic, because Angela Smith, who is one of those seven um, who, have, who have left to launch this party, um, they've left because... It's institutionally racist, they say. It's a racist organisation. Jamie Corbyn's racist. This is something that they've labelled against him over and over and over. And when talking about racism, this is what Angela Smith replied. This is just hours after launching a party that she's launched specifically because she felt the party that she was in was racist. And this is what she said. It's not just about colour. I mean, you know, the recent history of the party I've just left suggests that it's not just about being black or a funny, tin, you know, different. It's not just about being black or a funny tinge. And play the game. It's not just about colour. I mean, you know, the recent history of the party I've just left suggests that it's not just about being black or a funny, tin, you know, different, BM, from the BME. I love this. Let me take my image away. You've got her saying it's not just about being black or a funny colour. And the caption beneath it on the BBC... The caption beneath it from the BBC is how big a problem is racism in the UK. Just as she's saying it's not about being black or a funny tinge. Here's the thing. Do you think the BBC will make as big a deal about her saying that as they did about Jamie Corbyn, allegedly, remember he didn't, but allegedly saying stupid people or stupid woman in the House of Commons on the last day of Parliament last year. Do you remember? They talked about it non-stop for two days in the media, didn't they? Do you think they'll do the same thing about that? This is somebody who's leaving the Labour Party because of racism, who's gone on to say something racist in an interview hours later. We'll wait and see whether the media, and the BBC especially, we'll wait and see whether they pick that up and run with it. We'll wait and see how much of a raw way he's made about that. I kind of get the feeling that it won't be even close to the scale that we saw in December when Jerry Corbyn was accused of calling Theresa May a stupid woman in the House of Commons. And remember, it was Laura Kunzberg, I believe, who actually started that with the tweet saying, what did Corbyn just say? So... We shall see whether a bigger deal is made about that. But I just wanted to do a little video highlighting, you know, something really funny and something sad and pathetic. I suppose I could have just talked about Chukka Amuna in this video, couldn't I? Because he's all three of those rolled into one. <laughs>
For more truly honest, independent media like the video you just saw, please subscribe and click the bell below as well so you get a notification of when I drop further videos. If you also like and share and comment on the video as well, that really helps with the algorithm and boosts exposure. And if you can support me, please do so. You can do with any of the avenues on the screen at the moment and below this video. You can support me for as little as a dollar a month on Patreon and every dollar helps. We need your support at the moment. We do not have an operating fourth estate. I'm sure you're aware uh, a functioning media holding power accountable is vital for democracy. At the moment, we haven't got it. So people like me are having to fill their shoes and do the job for them with your support. Thanks very much for your support. Till next time. Peace and take care.